to the current affairs series of Top Rise. The topic for today is the India-Bangladesh relations, important in the current times, official visits of what have taken place between the leaders, and indeed, a separate video on this is what was much required. So here it is for all of you all, the India-Bangladesh relations. First and foremost, coming to the context of this particular particular discussion today, it is the recent visit by Madam Sheikh Hasina, who is the Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Indeed, this is landmark because first and foremost, a very, very significant visit. This is what is the first official visit after election. Elections have taken place in both Bangladesh as well as in India. So indeed, a visit that is taking place after election is what is important for both the countries. It is Prime Minister Modi's first maiden visit with the leadership of Bangladesh after his election also. So indeed, an important one. Also, what is very, very important is the recent upgrade that we are seeing. Seven pacts and three projects have been signed between India and Bangladesh. Clearly, this is what is reflecting the deepness of the relation between both the countries. Another thing that is very, very important is the agreement that has been signed between both the nations in the context of supplying gas to Tripura. Now, this is what is very, very important because northeastern region of India, we all know, is comparatively lesser developed. It is facing challenges because of the geographical situation in this region. And in such a scenario, when a country like Bangladesh is coming to the aid of this region, this is what is the primary interest of India. And that is what has clearly taken place in Tripura. And that is what is very, very important. Also, what is important is the use of Chattogram as well as the Mongla ports that have been allowed in Bangladesh to be used by the northeastern states. Again, as you, you we all know, that the northeastern states are largely landlocked. And it is Bangladesh which can provide an access to the sea to all these northeastern states, which is, again, something that is important for India. So an important decision again. A skill development center is what has been opened in Bangladesh by India. We all know the Skill India mission of India is something that is very, very popular. It has several achievements to its credit. And in this context, the skill development centers of India are what are popular across South Asia, and one is what India is opening for Bangladesh, so that is important. Another thing that is important is the trilateral agreement that is in the pipeline with, uh, with Bhutan, Bangladesh, as well as India. Again, something that is important, relevant for us. So these are the developments that are taking that have taken place in the context of the current vision. So these are the first aspects that we need to know about. Next, what we need to know about is the historical aspect of the relations between India and Bangladesh. Some points of history are again relevant for us in our analysis. First and foremost, you would need to know that India has been a catalyst in the development or, or in the formation of Bangladesh, I'm sorry. But India was the first country to accept Bangladesh as an independent nation. So India has always had a major role in Bangladesh, in the Bangladesh politics in the year 1971. India has fought a war with Pakistan to ensure that Bangladesh gets its independence. So India has a major contribution to Bangladesh history. Also, civilizational, social, cultural, economic ties are what are there between both the countries. Again, this is important. I have just told you that India was the first country to recognize Bangladesh. This is what gives India an extra edge over all of it. Are all the other countries that Bangladesh is engaging with? So that is important. Also, India has stood by Bangladesh in the times of its needs, which is again a positive aspect. In the current times, there has been an upturn in relationship. There has been a time that there, the relations between both the countries have been tense, they have been suspicious, but things have changed now. Primarily after the landmark 2015 agreement, which was the land border agreement, wherein both the countries, people who were living in some of the villages were what were called as enclaves. What was happening was that in on the Indian side, some villages were what were under Bangladesh, and these people, just because they were Bangladesh citizens living in India, they did not have any valid documents, they did not have the rights that citizens in India enjoy, and similar was the case in Bangladesh also. So in the year 2015, this landmark decision was what was taken, and these the enclaves were what were exchanged, and that is what resulted the basic human rights of people living in these enclaves. So this was what was a major achievement for both these countries. All these aspects of history are what are important in the context of India-Bangladesh relations. If you have an opportunity, you must discuss about these aspects also. So that's about the history. What is also important is the bilateral aspect of the relationship, which is very, very relevant. Now, first and foremost, you should know, as I've just told you, there it has been an upturn. And so they have entered into one of the best phases of the relationship between India and Bangladesh. Also, what is important is in the context of the borders. Now, primarily, the Bangladesh-India border was one of the most 
perforated borders, you can say. People were often moving out. There was a lot of smuggling. But today, the scenario is such that this is what is one of the most secure borders. And this is what it has resulted in deepening and strengthening the relationship. With Pakistan, India has one problem. That is primarily the borders, which Pakistan is not securing from its side. So whenever you have an opportunity, you can use the deepness of relationship with Bangladesh as an example. That how one step taken by one country, that is Bangladesh, towards India has resulted in deepening the relation to such an extent. So that is what, how you can link it. That is how you can use it. As I just told you, this is one of the, the securest borders that is there as of now for India amongst all the South Asian countries after Bhutan. And then maybe Bangladesh is one of the most secure borders. Also, the figure of the bilateral trade is important. It is worth $9 billion in the year 2017 and 18. So again, a major achievement for both these countries. That high degree of trade is what is taking place. Exports are what have increased by approximately 42.9% is what has been talked about in a recent editorial. Also, $1.25 billion is what is expected to increase in, in trade in the current year of 2018 and 19. Non tariff barriers are what have been reduced by both these countries. So, again, this is what is a development in the context of India Bangladesh relation, which needs to be appreciated. Connectivity is what is one of the major building blocks in the relationship. Now, first and foremost, you should know that land use are what are most popular for in con connectivity between India as well as Bangladesh. Train services are what are there between Dhaka and Kolkata. So, this is the first train service. Between Kolkata and Khulna, there is another train service which you should know about. And another that is opening is between Agartala and Akhora. So this is what is an opportunity that is being provided for northeastern states to connect with Bangladesh. Trade is what is going to improve. They will get connectivity through the sea also through Bangladesh. So all of this is what is very much in the interest of India. A Dhaka, Kolkata cruise ship is what is also in the pipeline. So that is important. Tourism sector is what is flourishing between both the countries. There was 2.16% of the tourists in India who, in the year 2018, were from Bangladesh. So this is what is a major achievement. 50% of these tourists are what are health tourists. So health tourism is what is very, very popular in the context of India-Bangladesh relation. This is important. Another thing that is important is the line of credit, which has also been shown in this particular diagram. It is important that there are three lines of credit that have been offered by India to Bangladesh. They are to the tune of $7.362 billion. So this is important. But the issue in the context of these lines of credit is that of this $7.362 billion, only $442 million is what has actually been dispersed. This is primarily because of the bureaucratic hurdles and the red tapeism. So that is what is one concern in the context of the India-Bangladesh relations. Whenever you have an opportunity, you have to talk about the bilateral relations, bilateral ties. So that is one thing that is important here. Also, what you need to talk about is the irritants in the context of the India-Bangladesh relations. Yes, the relationship has improved, but irritants remain. The primary among them is the Tista River Water Sharing Agreement. The cartoon is showing it. Tista River is what is very, very critical for Bangladesh. And it was decided by the Indian leadership that water will be shared between India and Bangladesh. But West Bengal Chief Minister Madam Mamta Banerjee has been stopping this agreement. And that is one of the major irritants that is emerging in the India-Bangladesh relation. So this is important. Also, what is important is the NRC, the National Register of Citizens. Here in Assam, what is happening is that a few people, in fact, the number is what is very, very high. Approximately 20 lakh people have been declared as non-citizens of India and they have been declared as Bangladesh immigrants. So what is now happening is that Bangladesh is refusing to accept them as citizens of their own country. But recently, assurance has been given to Bangladesh that Bangladesh will not be forced to take these people in inside its borders. So that is, again, an irritant in the context of the NRC. So that is important. Also, what is important is that now there is something of develop, something of a new development that is taking place, which is in the context of some border killings. Now, basically, why are these border killings taking place is because India is claiming that there is a lot of cow smuggling or cattle smuggling that is taking place at the India-Bangladesh border. We all know that cattle trade in India is what has literally been banned 
the the beef trade in india is what has been stopped slaughtering of cattle is what has been banned now because of this what is happening is that large amounts of cattle from india are being smuggled at the border in bangladesh where this industry is still thriving so this is what is resulting in a lot of killings by the army in this particular region and this is what is creating some degree of irritant as acting as some degree of irritant between india as well as bangladesh so this is important the rohingya issue is again important this has to be rohingya now basically a lot of rohingya refugees are entering bangladesh through myanmar and bangladesh has always seen that india should take a stand on this but india has been reluctant in taking a stand on the rohingya issue and this is what has emerged as an irritant rather it should have been india which should have been solving the matters between bangladesh and myanmar india should have taken that leadership position but that has not happened and on the contrary china has come to fill this vacuum and china is playing that role so this is one irritant that is there also a few projects are what are pending this is the ganga padma barrage project as well as the feni river project so these are the projects which are pending and that is again something that is acting as an irritant between both the countries so that is what is important also what is important here is the way forward to the relationship now one editorial has just featured recently in the hindu and this calls for a new mnemonic which has been given this is what you should use it is the three c's which stands for cooperation coordination and consolidation this is how the three relationship between india and bangladesh should be based these are the three pillars on which the relationship should stand and indeed this is an important idea that has been offered which you can replicate also what is very very important is that water management is the key to prosperity in this region there are approximately 57 trans boundary rivers between india and bangladesh so if there is any key to prosperity it is water management that is what has been talked about also this relationship has a larger role to play in the context of the entire south asia this is one of the most testing times for south asia india and pakistan are, are at loggerheads and this is because of this issue what has happened is that the entire integration of south asia is what is weakened as of now so if india bangladesh relations are strong this can act as a bridge for linking all the other countries in south asia and this is an opportunity for south asia to come closer and develop the uh, collectively so that is another idea that you can use in the context of the upturn in india bangladesh relations so that is what is important here now that is all about the india bangladesh relation i have in summary tried to discuss and talk upon all the issues in the context of india bangladesh relation if a question does come i assure you you can answer it with this video itself also for prelims point of view some geographical aspects are only important but lastly the topic is important for the main so that is how you have to go about this topic and that is how you have to deal with it so that's about this particular video many more coming so i thank you all for watching the video